Welcome to another RSR. Tonight I'm reviewing Guyana 1, Guatemala 3 in the CONCACAF Nations League 2024-25. League A, Group A, Guatemala top in the group going into the final match day. Seven points. They get the win. They play down to Guyana for most of the match, but they outlast them. Guyana's tank emptied and Guatemala's was just enough. They kept enough of their tank full to outlast them. Let's go with that. Guyana, uno, Guatemala, tres, and La Liga de Nations de la CONCACAF, Liga A, Grupo A. Guatemala, ganar del partido, líder del grupo. They are leading the group, deservedly so. This game, I'd say most of it, Guatemala did not look like the better side. They definitely looked like the team who had less good moments in this game. Guatemala won, but did they deserve it? Not really, no. I don't think so. Goals were scored as follows. Oscar Santis in the 17th minute, slots at home from open play. Slots at home, pass Quillen Roberts, nil one, Seto Uno. Steven Duke McKenna with a goal, 31st minute, has it top of the box, takes a shot, curls it in, top bins, 31st minute, 1 1, Uno Uno, beautiful goal, golazo, and Guyana has the draw, and at the half, it's still 1 1, Uno Uno, Miro Tiempo. They have the draw, and honestly, they were the better team in the first half. I think they were the stronger side, the tougher side. The better side in the first 45 minutes. They defended so well. Quillen Roberts had a good game for most of the game. They definitely outplayed Guatemala for a good bit in this game. I'm actually kind of shocked that they their tanks ran out as early as they did. But in the end, the 61st minute, Guatemala gets the leading goal. Castellanos makes the run. Santis lets it roll through. Castellanos takes the shot into an open net. One to two, uno a dos. Then Oscar Santis from the far side smashes one home to get his second of the night. 68th minute, one to three, uno a tres. Three goals for Guatemala, two in eight minutes, two in seven minutes in the second half past the hour mark. Gets them the win. And they did the bare minimum to win, but they won. Full-time, 1-3, to three, uno a tres esta noche. Full-time stats are as follows. 11 shots to 6, 6 shots on goal to 4, 51% possession to 49% possession, 304 passes to 294 passes, 88% pass accuracy to 87% pass accuracy, 6 fouls to 7, 1 offside to 6, 0 yellow cards to 2, 0 red cards to 0, 7 corners to 3. Listen. The thing that I got to say about this match is that Guyana played very tough. That's the big takeaway, is that Guatemala played down to Guyana for 60 minutes. And frankly, they didn't deserve to win this game. Really, three moments of brilliance for them led to them winning. And Guyana basically just losing their energy 60 minutes into the game. The fitness levels were just gone. It makes you wonder. Guyana put on a very good performance until they got scored on the second time. They didn't even give up after the first goal. That first half was pretty damn good, frankly. The second half, I'm like, oh, they're not doing too bad. They give up a goal, and then they're just like, eh, we're done. Like, why give up? You already equaled a one-goal deficit. Why give up? That's the thing I don't get. Like, it's got to be a fitness problem. It's got to be their fitness just absolutely fell off a cliff. Because if not, why would you just give up? I don't like that energy of them just giving up. Them be like, ah, we got it, we're good, or it's over. I don't like that, per se. It's, it's not something I really like watching. To see a team just, man, I don't like it. I don't like it. I really don't. It 
that's the problem is I don't like how this game went for them because they played so well for 60 minutes. They played so well for 60 minutes. And Guatemala was playing down to them. Guyana definitely could have gotten a point here. And frankly, with the way they played, I feel like they kind of deserved a point. Now you're saying, but they lost. And that's true. But Guatemala really just did the bare absolute minimum. If Guatemala is better, the best Guatemala we've ever seen, I should say, should they be this flimsy? I don't think so. I mean, that was a flimsy performance. That was a... I don't know. That feels kind of... Oh, whatever. A Pittsburgh Steeler-esque performance. Sometimes they play down to competition and still win. Sometimes they play down and lose, and it bites them in the ass. Guatemala played down to competition and luckily still won. It looked like it was about to bottom in the ass, but in the end, they still won. But the fact you were playing down to competition anyway, choosing to, it seemed like, makes me feel like, okay, you're out of your mind. These, these groups are very tight. That's the problem. These Nations League groups are very tight. There's not much room for error. There's not much room for error. And you pull some stuff like that, you deserve what you get. Y'all deserve to lose, draw, whatever. Winning, though, wasn't... I don't think the performance was that good. The story, the score line doesn't tell you the story of the game. It doesn't. And I'm actually very sad for Guyana because they put in very good performance to the point where them losing seems kind of harsh. It really does. And I hate it for them, but it is what it is. Man of the match, Oscar Santis. Two goals, one assist. Good for him. That's man of the match level worthy. If he wasn't playing today, they wouldn't have won or even drawn because nobody else showed anything, frankly. Hagen, eh. I mean, he was good, not great. Mendez Lang, no. Rubin, no. It's got to be Santis, right? It's got to be him. It's got to be him. So there you go. That's my man of the match is Santis. Guatemala, good for you. You're top of the group with seven points. You play Costa Rica on the road. And you're pretty much all but through. That's the good news is you're all but through. And if Guatemala wins or draws, Suriname might be the team joining Guatemala in the quarterfinals or getting through the group stage. If not, if it is a Costa Rica win, it's both of them. But Guatemala, you're all but through. You did it by the skin of your teeth and barely even caring, but you did it. So there you go. With that being said, if you like this video, like it, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell your friends. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification one. Subscribe. Send some chats on the live streams. Comment on this video. Put us in playlist. Share with friends and family. All that great stuff. I will see you tomorrow for a live watch along and review 755 for USA, United States versus Panama. Friendly. I'll be live for it. I will review it. That's it for Saturday. Sunday, we're off. Monday, we're back for Jamaica versus Honduras. Tuesday, Canada versus Panama. Live RSR, USA, Mexico live, and maybe even a RSR. Wednesday, Nations League group stage recap. Knockout stage early predictions. Thursday off, Friday off, Saturday, MLS decision day. So there you go. With that being said, I'll see you later. Next Saturday would be decision day. But I'll see you later. I'm Ryan and I'm out. Peace. See you.